Hi, my name's Sophia. Welcome to this community. Welcome to this tarot love reading. So I was getting a few things today. Uh, <laughs> I can't say they're not connected, but it didn't seem like it's connected. I'm going to tell you and if you fuck off and you think, what's that got to do with my person, then this ain't for you because some of it was to do with astrology. I was getting silly games. Um, there's a song about that um stupidness silly games i was also getting a shift the shift was connected with the planets now the silly games i've got to explain and it's connected with your person it's like they normally play these games which is I would say it's not intentionally to hurt anybody, but your person kind of plays these games. I don't know, these ways of doing it, but I'm getting silly games and stupidness, right? Of getting things that, getting the maximum out of all things for, for the benefit of others and themselves. But... For example, if you was cheated on by your person and that's because they didn't want to hurt that other person, but that was that's what I'm saying, it's stupid and a silly game. But time they met you and it carried on, then it was how do I quit this kind of situation? And why I'm saying that is the planets, this shift that's happening now is connected with stopping ending out that silly games and now i said your person's cheat it's like they stop the cheating right all right i'm not cheating anymore but that still that philosophy that belief that way of doing things of i'll shift this here to kind of help that person make that person happy that person happy is still about in them they haven't closed out that cycle of a bit of this, a bit of that, a bit of that, a bit of this. The planets is, this universe is you 100% focus on one thing at a time, then you do the next. I always say this is a lack uh, uh, mentality because poor people see rich people with loads of stuff and think they do a little bit here, a little bit there. I'm creating a business. Now, I, I was calculating that it might be ready to go in about a year. A poor person would never think about getting anything ready for a year. And I'm like, yeah, realistically, uh, um, the website, I want the exact website, then Google AdWords. I haven't done that for over a decade, so I might have to uh, get more qualified on Google Analytics because to pay someone a thousand pounds, a month for Google, I'll, I'll prefer to learn it myself, and I've learned it already, then um, then the tags of the website, the SEO on the website, then the products, if I'm going to have a shop, which I'm planning to get an online shop, I have to get all the products, and obviously if I look now, um, there's only going to be so much, so over months I'll get something new, and so I'm calculating, and so I'm focusing all at the moment on products, can I upsell them? Stuff like that, right? But one thing at a time, right? One thing. But uh, this is your person. And it's like, and it's something to do, I was picking up also about astrology. Now you'll hear tower readers that talk about sex doll, um, uh, uh, square arenas and all this kind of, you know, stuff like that. 40 degrees and all that. Check out your north node, south node. I remember it's like, what the fuck, this foreign language, what are they talking about that for, right? Obviously, if you're like a mechanic, you kind of slip out uh, terminologies and stuff like that. But um, they should know that you don't know. That's why I was successful in business, in computers. Because everyone kept saying, I don't know, they're talking about uh, uh, formatting the hard drive and how many gigabytes and space and this and that on your... Uh, and, uh, um, trojan horses and they're like i don't fucking know i just said listen your computer's fucked i'll wipe it clean it'll come back like new <laughs> i knew all the terminology but did i go and large it right 
why I'm saying that. There's something about the planets. Some of you might be learning astrology. Now, I love astrology because you think that you're the only one, right? And that, uh, and that I dictate my life. But how that, that proves, this theory of tarot proves that's not so. Because how can so many thousands of people go through the same experience of you? And that's what I love about tarot. It's more than just, oh, it's just a reading. So I hate people to say, say saying I'm a tarot reader. What? What? You can predict the lottery numbers. I'm like, you know how fucking hardcore this is. This is predicting your life, right? And it's not your life. It's most people's lives. How come I'm going through what, what you're going through and we've never met, right? So there's something to do with astrology, but it's to do with a shift. So the shift right now is to change in the perspective of the masculines of a little bit, little bit, little bit. You go focus 100% on one thing, right? Okay, I've got that sort of, to the best of your ability, that is loving for you, right? Okay, kind of got that to the best of the ability, right? I'm unhappy in my marriage. I'm sorting the divorce next, okay? So I'll sort out how to incorporate my new person into my life. Next, the job. Next, that's how you're supposed to. Not a little bit, a little bit, because that never changes. As you can tell by the divine feminine's pulling back, because that stupidness and silly games is what I'm getting, didn't work, right? And they said to you, they do that until uh, uh, soon, soon, right? Soon, I'll tell them soon, right, about you will change and they never the soon never happens right it's about power and control but that power control is from lack of confidence of um trusting themselves trust in the universe and um insecurities whatnots etc For example, I'll get, I'll get, I don't want to upset my family. I don't want to upset my um, kids because baby's mum or whatever won't let me see them. That's karma on the baby's mum or the family. They take on the karma if they stay in there and not go towards their wants and desires, right? Then, then that's their karma, right? You're supposed to go for what you want and what you do. Like, as I always say with my daughter's dad, that's on him. I, I fought as long as I could until I thought I was going to die. And then I stopped, right? That karma's on him why she don't see me, not me. I've done everything possible. That's what they're supposed to do. And that's this contract, part of the contract. The contract's brilliant. It teaches loads of things. Do, that's why the feminists can pull away. Because they've done everything, right, to try to get this person to change and they wouldn't change. And when you're like, you hold your hands up and it's like, okay, universe comes in. Like I said, there's a shift of like, wow. Feminines have done everything, man or woman, to try to change this person, to see it from their point of view and blah, blah, blah. No. We'll release that tie. You have another option as well. You definitely do. And I've got to keep saying it. I see my twin flame every time. I see my twin flame too now more than off. Uh, and I've got to say what I'm saying is more than before. I think every time I go out, I see him. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's summer and he's always out. I don't know. Right. And I'm like, is that a sign? <laughs> Because it's talking about you. Is that a sign I'm supposed to be with him now? Because I'm seeing him all the time. He's always asking why aren't you calling me and all this kind of thing. Listen, right? I am not going with someone just because, right? I know what I need, right? I need. I know what nurtures me. And there's things that are lacking at the moment with that person which I've already had lack with my last relationship, so I'm not ready to jump in and be open to start that again. And why I'm saying that is because <clears throat> some of you are, I keep getting, are with someone that's not giving you stuff, but you're like, well, my twin flame ain't doing you fuck all, so I'm just going to stick with this person. No. <laughs> no. Does that mean I won't get with him? I keep saying, just, just give me time, mate. I might go with him flicks and cinema and do stuff like that. I don't know, right? I might do. But 
it's one of those, isn't it? You know, if you go with them, then they expect something else. So I don't want to do that. I'm, I'm fine. This is what I'm saying. I'm fine, <laughs> right? I'm fine. I don't want to go with someone just because. Stop doing that. Stop going with people just because. Your person, and this is why this is fucking up for your person. This is why they're in the free of sorts. Because they know you fill majority of those tick boxes. And they're still fucking around, right? It's very hard to get someone who nails all the, the boxes. Extremely hard. As you feel it with your twin flame, the one that you've released, don't tell me they don't fucking feel it. They do. So why are they fucking around? Silly games, right? <clears throat> all right. Three of Swords, Queen of Cups, Hierophant. So this is the Libra season, because this is Libra card, heartbreak, <laughs> right? I remember when I first got with David, uh, my, uh, my sister knew about Moore's astrology. I said, oh, he's a, I met someone, he's a Libra. Well, oh, she knew. I said, you know, uh, she said, what star sign? I said, Libra. She said, oh, they create the most heartbreak. <laughs> I was like, that. Ah. Don't believe in that. <laughs> this Libra season is trying to end this heartbreaking situation of doing things without realising what you're doing. Everything to do with heartbreak. Like your person, like I keep saying, I give an example, so I don't want to keep pulling up David about what he's done. And the stuff I'm saying, for example, like I said, he was at work. And he was joking with this guy on the radio. And he's just like, oh, I love you, John. Like that, right? He was just joking. It triggered me because I'm like a fucking random stranger. He's only been at the job a year, maybe. How long has he known me? He never says he loves me, right? Joking or not. Never comes out that man's mouth. That's one element, right? And it's also to do with not loving yourself, right? It's like... As I say, with uh, the rich people, right, rich mentality, I call it, is because the reason why you work 100% on the things that are, uh, until you go on to the next is then you get the full, you get the full attention of that person. When you're doing little bit, little bit, little bit, I don't give a shit, and I've said it to, uh, I don't give a shit, right? When you see your children and then you're working a billion hours and then you're squeezing in your partner, no one gets your attention. You can lie all day long, right? No one gets your attention. I said that last time I went, not, I think it was last time, <clears throat> I think it was, to the cinema, David came off a double shift and it, and he said, oh, I'm tired from my double shift. And I said, no, I don't bother coming then. If you're going to say you're tired. He's like, why? I can't say I'm tired. I'm like, yeah, you're fucking right. You either take the day off or you don't come, uh, you close your eyes tired and yawning. So what did he do? He came and he made sure he never mentioned he was tired. He tried to be energetic. energetic. This is silly games. Just fucking sort it properly. That's what the universe is saying. Now, it's up to him if he wants to keep doing silly games. I don't want to say it's silly games, but doing things that way, which to me is silly. It's obvious you can't have a relationship, right? Which they say they don't want to, which is heartbreaking. Anything to do with heartbreak. Well, before they'd be like, oh, it's fine. If I don't have to have a relationship, I don't have to have a relationship. Well, you're just living your life for your kids because kids is everything. Yeah, well, go do that then. Of course, everyone wants a relationship. <laughs> Everybody, right? Over kids. Yes, I said it. Over kids. People want a relationship. Regardless if they tell you or not. So your person's in this kind of heartbreaking situation over you. Queen of Caps. As I was trying to show you, and I doubt is if I'll get it again. Because uh, I need the goggles on. But with my Queen of Caps, um, let me see. <laughs> Oops. 
which came out yesterday, it's about her holding back. Can you, uh, I was going to say, can you see? But you can kind of see, right? It's about uh, her holding back because she's um, emotionally not giving. The hand is clearly on top of the glass. Like, I'm not giving anymore. There you go. I'm not giving any more to you. Right? Queen of Cups. This, you see that? Oh, I don't want to move it here. Oh, gosh. This, right? That's the High Priestess. That's uh, on top of the High Priestess. This is the, this is the planets I was talking. This is all the phases of the moon. That is a moon on the phases of the moon. So this divine time with the planets is making the divine feminine, man or woman, come away from this heartbreak. They don't seem to see that it's heartbreaking. And it's not just to... It's not just to you. It's to every, It's a lot of people. It's heartbreaking. Right? I would hate my son to ring me and I'll say, or my daughter, or any of my kids, I would love to adopt more, or, or, or adopt some kids, but I don't think I could at my age. Um, it's like ringing my kids and they're saying, oh, I've done a double shift, I'm fucking knackered. I would hate that. That's heartbreaking for a mum to hear that, right? This is what this is, right? Oh, I, I'm skint all the time. Right? I'm, I'm never in a relationship. <laughs> right? Or looking unhappy. Going to work, right? I, I haven't got money for lunch. <laughs> it's heartbreaking. They're, they're, they're saying shit and doing stuff without thinking and it's heartbreaking. Going to the kids, having them at the weekend, and tired as fuck. <laughs> I've got to take you back because I've, I've got a work a billion hours. It's not just you, right? That's what this is. They don't seem to understand, and that's why you've pulled back. So they're now in heartbreak over you, whichever way around this is. The Hierophant, oh, these are the same cards as yesterday. The Hierophant is, the positive is higher knowledge. It's like the universe, because as I said, it's to do with the planets, something to do with the planets. It's like the universe is going to be um, downloading to your person about, look, just the two of you. Can you see his two fingers? The key to your heart, can you see his hand on his heart with a key? To the heart is two, right? Two. <clears throat> twins. Do you see them? The two twins there? The twins. The twins actually mean about um, levels of hierarchies. That's what the twins mean. It's like um, the normal person... The twins in this card, in the Hierophant card, represents a normal person. Well, I know from Alice Crowley's definition anyway, is the normal average person can have higher knowledge. Hence why this community is like, you can be like me. I'm not higher than you, you know, lower than you, we're all the same. That's what the Hierophant means. Anyone can get higher knowledge. All those tower readers, oh, I have the astrology, I'm so brilliant, I know the square equal minus of the uh, north node and south node, which you're like, what the fuck are you talking about, right? Explain it then, if you're going to talk about it. Explain what you're on about. Don't just show off what you know, right? <clears throat> That's why I like Sheetel, because Sheetel says, all, uh, whatever's out, a portal's out, and this portal means that, blah, blah, blah. Others are just like, just saying it, right? And that's what this is. This is like, yeah, well, you can all have higher knowledge, right? And I'm talking, I can, I've seen, uh, uh, you can have an expert knowing all the planets, but next to me or someone who has downloads is just, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And that's what this is. And that's what I was saying. There's something, and I thought you was all going to fuck off, but it's connected with the readings. The initial re uh, energy is always connected. It's to do with, they are all getting the same uh, download, the masculines, about this situation, right? 
Hierophant. That is like, you know, I don't know, upstairs is telling them, commit to something. Stop fucking around. Commit to the person that is closest to your heart. That will help you. It's connected, as I say, the negative connotation of this card is beliefs, traditions, religions, faith, all that kind of thing. It's also connected with sexual abuse. It's a God card. Loads of sexual abuse in church, right? <clears throat> abuse, structures, stuff like that. Underneath, Ace of Pentacles, I'll see if I'll do another reading. Like I say, I try. And I can't even see how long this is. And um, if it's the same message, I'll just want do it. It's no point. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Swords, they're watching you. Ten of Swords, they're watching you leave and go and get something else that's stable. And that's what I was saying yesterday. It's, it's, it's fucked up and it's weird. It's like a game. It's like I'll just wait for you to actually be in a committed relationship. Although this is heartbreaking, <laughs> right? But I'll just I'll just watch you do that. It's like what kind of stupid game is that? It's weird. It's weird. And that's why the Hierophant is coming in. <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles underneath. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got to get cards in the right order. Ace of Pentacles underneath the Three of Swords. It's heartbreaking because they don't offer you anything that was stable. There was nothing there. And like I said, it's to do with the planets now. This is karma with, with the Libra season of karma. I, I, I'll meet a guy and he'll say, I've seen you around. Uh, and literally, this is a true story. It's like uh, 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 this guy approached me. He said, I've seen you around. He said, um, uh, I don't want to presume that you're single because you're gorgeous. I said, carry on. <laughs> carry on. Speak more. <laughs> And he said, but I've never seen you with anybody. My point. Yes. Five years with a guy, no one sees me with him. Right? And what did I say to him? I said, there you go. You ain't seen me with anyone. So, yes, I am single, my friends. <laughs> but not interested. Wasn't interested. Wasn't my cup of tea. That's what I'm saying. The universe is coming back around. If you're not out there, you're not sick. It's like what, you, what they create... It's now backfiring, right? Because they weren't doing it correctly. From a belief or a tradition or, or, or it's, it's, I keep getting like ego and stuff. Look, ten of swords. Look, ten of swords to the hierophant, to your person, from what they created. And like I said, I don't, I don't mean to. And this, it's like, my twin plane number two has worked in the library for four years, he said. I go to the library quite regularly, never seen him. Soon as when I finish with David, everywhere I see that guy, everywhere. It's not me, I didn't, you know, it's like, and that's when he approached me. It's like the, the, the it's the planets that are making it happen. Page of Swords, yeah, they're just watching you. It's all they're doing is watching you. I don't, I don't, what the fucking point of that? I don't get it. Page of Swords, just watching you. It's, I don't know, it's like as if, they want it with you, but they're not taking it, I don't know why, and it doesn't matter, they're diff it's weird, because you know they love you, they, that's what I'm picking up, they, you know they love you, they, you know they want to be with you, they, they, you know they want something stable with you, 
but they cover their heart and they fucking just go in with logic. And the universe is trying to heal this. It's self-sabotage. It's like they just won't leave the past in the past. They just won't leave whatever happened in the past in the past. Ten of Swords to the Hierophant, like I said, this is um, your passions, belief, traditions, ways of doing things, whatever, right, is now causing them to be stabbed in the back. And this is a, uh, uh, this is, um, I, I will say, it's not intentionally stabbed in the back, but stabbed in the back by you as well. You're one of these swords. But this is other people, third party, something going on with third, like third party controlling them, puppeteering them, their family, their religion, their tradition, right? All of it. For example, say your person has a, uh, uh, a brother or sister who's in a relationship and they got married and they settled down the mum and dad is buying them stuff to get married and stuff and saying to your person who who's acting single oh you're all right you're by yourself you're all right you're you're independent you're working all these hours it's like the universe is chucking shit back at them from the stuff that they created it's like because you put on this facade of you being something else it's not you, right? And that's karma. And this is Libra season. Like I said, the first card, three of swords. Screw up, try. It's, it's, it's got, you see the Libra? It's trying to create a uh, balance. What? Oh, I can't remember what planet that is. Trying to create balance. And like this might sound, <laughs> well, David rings me and cusses me out. Another slagging me off video, like he'll say. And I'm like, before this is that like, this is creating balance for them as well, for your masculine, so that they haven't, uh, they don't uh, keep doing this unhealthy self-sabotaging pattern. Okay, now it's time to trust. Trust this divine twin flame plan. Work on yourself if there is no communication. And look at this. Like I said, they're just watching you. Let me see. Oh, gosh. Can you see him in the background? <laughs> right, just watching you. Eyes on you. You're the alien. This is time to trust it, right? <clears throat> trust this plan. Like I said, I see, uh, I like to call him Connor. I don't like to call him Twin Flame 1, Twin Flame 2. His name is Comma, Connor. He doesn't know about this channel. I don't talk to him about nothing, really. Um, <clears throat> but he's, you know, I, I, I hate bringing him up so much. You know, he's getting all this airtime from me. But um, my point is... Um, <clears throat> I'm not jumping in with him or seeing him as well. It's like, don't do that. I keep getting that. Don't do that. Trust this. That's why this card is here. Trust this plan. Just because I see him all the time, don't mean I have to be with it, right? It's hyphens here. Go with your higher knowledge, your higher intuition and stuff like that. <clears throat> another card. Okay, let's close this out. Back to the long fucking videos. That's probably why I won't do another one. I can't, <laughs> what did I just say? Right, two cards of it. I constantly look at your pictures and messages. You can see that. That's what the universe is like. What does that do, matey? That's the universe to them. So I'll just look until she's gone. Until he's gone. Oh, oh well done. That's very clever, right? That's what I was saying at the beginning. Stupidness. That's that's clever, mate. Right? I want to love you, but I don't know how. Well, I can figure it out, right? That's what this is about. We'll figure it out instead of just watching. Figure out a way how to do it. 
please don't give up on me. I think that's a bit late, right? <laughs> right? I feel lost and lonely without you. First card, that's what they're feeling now, right? And as I said, it's like the universe is like how you felt when they rejected you or when they didn't do what you wanted. Now you're not doing what they want. Didn't it give you... It's like when you ask them something. I keep saying this is what I'm getting. When you ask them something... And they don't come out and say no, do they? The reason why they don't say no, because you'll go, no, oh, I'm fucking off there. The, what, why, what they say, I'm going to, or, 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 or I, it will happen, or, or yeah, maybe, or something like that. And, and I think the majority of you is like that as well. It's like, I, I haven't said to David, no, I'm not going to date you again. But I said, I'm not having the past neither, right? It's not going to be like how it was before right that's heartbreaking it's the same thing like i said this is karmic scales balancing out the same way how they done things is how you're doing it back to them and see how they don't like it right and that's what karma is karma exists there's negative and positive karma and that's what's happening with them is that going to change i'll see if i get another message in another video and see where's this going all right, speak to you later.